guys, today is a, a super exciting day. So my buddy Blake is actually coming down from Pittsburgh. Um, for you guys who don't know, that's where I'm from originally. So we used to play high school football together. We went to high school. I haven't seen this guy in like 15 plus years. So we're gonna go out. Um, it's blowing a little bit today. So it's gonna be a little bit crazy, like a little bit windy out there, but we're gonna go out uh, and drift. Um, hopefully right on the, the current, maybe get a sailfish. Um, maybe a tuna, you know, uh, we're going to bottom drift mutton snapper. I don't know what we're going to get into, but um, I already got the, I got the boats all set up. I got the rods. Um, I already got everything. It's already on the boat. So we're ready to go. I got some chum in case, got some pilchards. Um, you know, if not, we're going to load up with some bait and then uh, see you guys out there. All right, before we jump into the action, Let's check out what we did today. So we left the house, went out of Hullover Inlet. Uh, the goal was to go out and, and drift fish out between 100 and 200 feet on the reef's edge. We're looking for that line between the blue water uh, and that dirty green water. Today was out in about 180 feet, but the winds were absolutely howling today. It was ripping about 20 miles per hour. Current was pushing about two miles per hour. I mean, it was a rough day. You guys are going to see in the footage after this, but... We got some fish, got some fish in the box, uh, and had a lot of fun, so stay tuned. Check out that swell, it never looks as bad on film, but we got six lines out in our drift today, actually lined up perfect with the drift sock. We got two deep baits, I got three flat lines with pilchards, and then we got a mid bait with some wire, uh, but the waves, were almost coming over the side of the boat, so stay tuned. Oh, nice. Remember those weights are on there. He's pulling. There you go. Get it. It's tough to stand on here. Too. Yeah. There you go. The bottom rods. funny like if you're out here you got like it on the camera it's gonna look like it's like a foot wave like that one almost came off the side of the boat <laughs> nice good that thing it may have hit it on the way down because that thing barely even hit the bottom yeah that went quick super fast That line tight no matter what. Looks like a big mutton snapper or something, right? Get it. Keep pulling there. 200 feet down. Yeah. Oh, good too. Yeah, for sure. There you go. This ain't like no bass. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> if, I told you, this thing's full like crazy. Yeah. What is it? Bonita. Oh. Oh, that's one here. <laughs> Bring over here. Yeah, click that bell. <sighs> you just put it right there in that rod. Oh, there my arms are so nice. Pull that over. Oh. and then squeeze them in the gill. What do you mean? Up here? Yeah. You got your phone. Yeah, you, so, so hold them under here. There you go. And then grab them on the other side. Yeah. We'll, I'll keep them anyways. I, I'm gonna... Can you grab my phone? Yeah. Good stuff, man. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> two for two. They're nice size, too, huh? Yeah. That thing hit on the way down. Crazy. Where's that? Coming up in the box. Just take off there, man. He he smoked it on the way down and coming to the bottom. I'll tell you what, that's a fight, dude. Oh uh, yeah, they are fun. Like crazy. They're like they're not like the best edible fish, but they're a good fun. I just throw it right in here? Yeah, good stuff. It on the... We drifted like a good fucking mile, mile. Well, what are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, fucking bastard. Oh, he got it. <laughs> I thought I thought you put it deep. This, this is the top bait. Let's go, baby. Look, John. <laughs> This one's gonna be deep too. It's still pulling, right? I think so. I can't. It doesn't feel like. Oh yeah. Oh. Let's just keep rolling. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it thing was pulling pretty good. So. Ah, it's still yanking a little bit.
The bottom rod. 200 feet. Oh shit. I think it, I think it got it rang itself on this one too. So you probably have both fucking rods on there. I think we got a tangle. But go ahead. Uh, you think I got something? No, you definitely got a fish. But this, the other bottom rod's pulling towards you. So chances are both of the rods are. There you go. Uh. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely there. Oh. Get it. He's on there. Oh, 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 he's on there. Yeah, he's definitely there. See, at first he didn't feel big. Now he feels pretty big. No, he's he's a nice size fit. It's burning. Seriously, it is. I think he's wrapped on that one too, though. See all the lines. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. So I'm gonna have you hold this for a sec. Oh, okay. it just popped off. Hey, oh, here, hold this. Hold this. Go ahead, reel He's right there, I see him. Keep going, keep going. What is it? Can't see it yet. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me the rod real quick. I think it's another Benito. Yeah, here. The way that he's pulling still, Muttons would have gave up. Yep. That's a big boy, man. Yeah, Woo! Look at the size of that thing, huh? Yeah. Damn! Peggy. Oh, hold on, maybe seven. Yeah, just. Woo! Look at that thing. Dude, that's huge. Here, grab the tail. He's strong. Yeah. Very strong. Good stuff. Baby, three for three. Look at that thing. Just <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. Good stuff. I need an assist on that. <laughs> oh, day uh, i got to see my buddy blake it's been like like i said 15 plus years so hopefully there's going to be a lot more fishing videos with blake in them by the way uh, hopefully come down this summer but um i appreciate you guys for watching so today uh we're gonna cook up that mutton snapper uh, we're gonna do uh something new i found offline uh mutton snapper fried rice and it looks amazing so uh let's jump right into it um and get this going um i got we got vegetable oil, we got some green onion, I uh, got a jalapeno here too, um, some gar garlic, uh, sweet onion, eggs, uh, butter, we need a lot of that. Um, we got some carrots and peas, uh, some soy sauce, sesame oil, and then this is jasmine rice, but you wanna pre-cook this stuff. Um, and then we're gonna heat it up in the pan after, so. And don't forget those mutton snapper fillets there. Just put a little bit of salt and, uh, and black pepper on them. And that's about it, so let's do it. First, we're gonna cut up some onion. Calls for about a half or a quarter or so. You probably gonna do like a half. 
side. Save that for later. Mince it all up. No. <sighs> bit of vegetable oil in our pan. Get nice and hot there. That in the pan. Also, like medium heat. We're gonna get our garlic. I'm not gonna hold back on these. Oh, burn a mess. Go ahead, eyes. All the, all the onion. Oh, they're burning. Ah. More. There we go. Next, we're gonna throw in. About two cups. I'm going to throw in about that. A little bit more. There we go. Alright, well that's cooking. Let's heat up the pan. So we're just going to cook this right here in the cast iron skillet. And I'm going to do a little bit of butter in here. Get the fish. We're going to put our mutton snapper fillets in. Just cook on in there. That's cooking. We are going to chop up some of these. vegetables. Work all the rice right in there. Rice. We're going to work in the stick. We love butter. A stick of butter here. One more, there we go. Just stirring that butter in here. Don't burn. There you go. End up cutting it up and getting it in there anyway. So. Rice, I like to get a little bit of crisp. So you can start seeing it. So now I'm going to add my egg. Two eggs in there. Gonna break them. Something right down the middle there. Stir them up. There we go. Mutton snapper is nice and done. The egg is cooking through. We are almost done. I actually forgot this ingredient. So, sesame seeds. Who doesn't like sesame seeds? Bunch of soy. Salt for three tablespoons, but 
just gonna put a little bit extra in there. Ooh, baby, I can smell it. A little bit of this. A little bit of A little bit of sesame oil. There we go. Work it on through. Ooh, I can smell it now. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna do a nice scoop of fried rice there. We got a nice piece of mutton snapper. Right there. We take a little bit of the scallions. Boom. All right. It's time for the taste test. We're gonna do a little little fried rice. A little mutton snapper. It's hot. Oops. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. The fried rice. It's actually easier than I thought. I haven't done fried rice. Like that? I haven't done it. It's actually really good. It's easy. It's like... The rice is sticky enough. There's just enough soy sauce in there. Um, the mutton snapper, you don't want to do anything to it because there's so much salt and that soy sauce. Um, it's just, so, um, I mean, it tastes phenomenal, but, well, that's all for this one. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to give this one a try, definitely. It's one of my favorite recipes I've done so far. So, um, again, appreciate all of your support on the channel. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. It does help out the channel a lot. I appreciate it. Um, appreciate you guys watching. So thanks so much for watching again, guys. It's Blue Water Light.